This video is about joint injection with steroid. This is an information video to help you understand the injection your doctor is about to perform. A joint injection is one of the ways that your doctor may try to treat your pain or disability. Joints may become sore or damaged due to a number of conditions such as inflammation, infection, trauma, wear and tear, or overuse. This damage may cause pain, swelling, stiffness, locking, and decreased range of motion. An injection into the joint may help with these symptoms. A mix of steroid and a local anesthetic is most often used. Other medications may also be used, as hyaluronic acid. To prevent infection, joint injections are performed under aseptic sterile conditions. The skin around the area to be injected is cleaned with alcohol-based swab. The physician performing the procedure will wear new, clean, and sterile gloves. Is an injection suitable for you? In some circumstances, an injection should not be performed, such as if you are at a high risk of bleeding, including bleeding disorders as hemophilia, or very low platelet count, or if you're on a strong blood-thinning medications such as warfarin. The use of aspirin does not prevent injection, but you should tell your doctor if you take any blood thinners regularly. Other conditions may also prevent injections, such as if you have an infection of the joint or the skin surrounding it, if you have septicemia, which is an infection of the blood, if an injection has been performed to the same site within a month, if you have a history of allergic reaction to any of the substances being injected or any medications, if you had a foreign body inside the joint to be injected as knee replacement, if you are taking any medications you feel may affect your injection, or if you are worried about any of the conditions explained, please discuss this with your doctor. There are a number of possible complications which may occur when a joint injection is performed, such as pain and discomfort or bruising, which may happen at the injection site. This is usually short-lived. Post-injection flare, that may happen due to a reaction to the joint injection. This is unusual. It happens in 1 in 200 cases, but occurs when the anesthetic wears off after 2 hours. If this happens to you, apply some ice and take some paracetamol. It is a self-limiting condition and will usually settle within 48 hours. If there is persistent heat and pain after this time, you should contact your doctor. Infection may also happen due to normal bacteria from your skin entering with the needle. This is also rare. It happens in 1 in 30,000 cases. If you experienced persistent heat and pain 48 hours after your injection, you should contact your doctor. Facial flushing may occur after steroid injection. This may be mildly uncomfortable but usually settles quickly raised blood sugar. If you are a diabetic, steroids may interfere with your insulin and you should monitor your glucose level frequently for 72 hours after the procedure. Injections can sometimes cause temporary numbness or weakness. This happens due to the local anesthetic spreading around nearby nerves. This is temporary, but if you feel any numbness or muscle weakness after your injection, you should tell your doctor. There are a number of possible outcomes following your injection. Most patients feel immediate improvement in their pain from the local anesthetic injected. This may last for several hours. Steroids injected may take some time to become effective, on average two to five days, but may take up to 10 days. Your pain may therefore return. This does not mean it has not been effective, just that the response is delayed.
Hyaluronic acid supplements usually act more slowly. If the injection is effective, patients may expect to feel some improvement for a duration of four to six months. We hope you understand the procedure your doctor is about to perform. If you have further questions, please refer to your treating physician.